Oh, we got vlog on vlog. Let's go. We got the man. Look at hooking hook, look at you just repping. Just repping the gang, gang, gang right there. All that all that repness going on. Yep. So today I am uh, fishing with Hook and Hogs TV. We are going to be hooking hogs on TV. That is the plan today. We actually might even do a little bit of cast and blast, which is fishing and uh, and doing a little duck and goose hunting. We'll see how it goes. Uh, right now it's about 107 degrees and it is November 24th. So we're not sure what the hell is going on right now with the weather. But instead of obviously going duck hunting, I'm going to go fishing because it's it's warm. But we're going to see if we can do a little bit of both today. You haven't fished this pond in like a month? Yeah, over a month. Over a month has not been fished. So we're hoping that we can actually catch a few fish today. I've got a cheddar bait tied on. I got a little beaver bait. I got a Ned rig and a jerk bait. What you got, Tyler? I saw you had a swim bait. Swim you had a jitterbug. Jitterbug. Yep. Uh, chatter bait. Chatter bait. And a Senko. And a Senko. Okay. And a jig. And a jig. So we got all the bases covered as far as lures go. We're going to see. This will be interesting. You guys are going to have to just tune in, stay tuned, and enjoy little pond hopping in late November during a super, super warm front. I would call this a hot front. This isn't even a warm front. This is a hot I'm front. I'm sweating right now. I'm I am too. <laughs> so uh, let's go catch some fish. Later. And we made it to the pond. It is so freaking windy. I have to stand behind my truck right now to get a, get a wind break. And the wind is still probably messing with the audio just a little bit. It is so windy. I don't even think we're gonna be able to take the boat out. There's a little John boat we normally take out. Uh, we're not even gonna take out. We're just gonna bank fish, which is which is okay. Maybe we're thinking the wind might die off as it gets closer to sunset. And maybe we'll take it out for the last hour for like top water or something. I don't know. The water is probably still in lo the low 40s, even though it is 72 degrees right now. But we're gonna give it a shot. But before we get started, you guys see this hat? You guys know this hat. This is my favorite all-time fishing hat. We now have this, the Freedom Flare logo in hoodies and t-shirts up on the site right now. And if you guys are watching this before Tuesday, the Tuesday after Thanksgiving, if you're watching it before then, you get 20% off all flare So if you want hats, hoodies, t-shirts, stickers, everything on the site right now is 20% off until the end of Cyber Monday, until the end of Monday at midnight. You guys can check it out, but we have the brand new Freedom Flare logoed t-shirts and hoodies. I don't even have one yet. I just decided let's just throw them up there for Black Friday and hopefully you guys can pick some up for the holidays or just for fishing or hunting or whatever you guys want. But anyways, I'm going to shut up. I think I'm going to start off with a chatterbait. I don't think they're going to get low enough. You could have shot those that, that when they passed right Maybe. Over. Shoot them. They're right there. No, 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 no. They're going to get lower. They're going to get lower. <laughs> they want in so bad. Good, get them right here. We're in the boat. Here we go. It's a tad bit windy out here today on the pond. Made it out on the boat just because bank fishing was just not happening. And I'm sure boat fishing probably isn't gonna happen either, but we'll see. I've got a, I've got a feeling one of us is gonna crack a good one. Oh, that's one. You got a fish? Yep. Oh snap, we got a fish. We're hooked up, boys. We are hooked up. How big is it? Oh my God, it's huge! Oh shoot! Oh God, oh God. Let me get my line out of the way. Grab that sucker. Oh shoot! Come here, buddy. Come here. Don't let him get off. One hour later. Oh, what, what rod was that on? Oh yeah, the bounce. Grab that sucker. Oh. Two hours later. What are you doing over here, Bill? Got him. Hold that sucker out. Yeah, let's, oh. yeah, just here. Hang on. Just push us forward. See if I can tie us up. Look at that fish, son. Woo! First one. I didn't think it was going to happen today, but a solid three pound good old right chatterbait fish. Done did her. Good work. Right move taking the boat out. That's for sure. With this wind blowing into these trees, it's a good ambush point for them. You know, they just, they just hang out and wait for something to come by them. Yeah, you might, there he is. There's a there's fish. Yep, yep, yep. 
Yo, oh god! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! I got him! I got him! I got him! I got him! Come on, fish! Come here! Come here! No! Hey, come on, down back there. What are we doing? Oh my god! That's a bucket mouth. Oh my god! Is, can this camera see it? Yes, it can. Oh my god, dude! Top of the freaking mouth, bro! Oh shoot! That's a, that is a bucket mouth, dude. That is a freaking stud. Freaking stud. Right there, a little beaver bait. Look at that fish, dude. <laughs> Look at that, baby. Woo! Well, I'm sure the audio is terrible, but I just caught a freaking donkey. See you later, Pamela. That is so freaking awesome. Catching that big of a fish in this cold water this late in the year on a beaver in the trees. Definitely taking the boat out was a good decision. It is so windy right now, it sucks, but we are catching fish. That's gotta be a big one. Oh dude, that's gotta be a big one. How we doing folks? Hope you guys enjoyed the first part of this video. Now we didn't catch any more fish. Basically what we did was we had a bunch of geese and ducks kind of coming over the top of us. We actually decided to hunt in which we didn't actually even shoot any. You guys saw a little bit of portion where we actually had some ducks come in and they got close, but we, di we didn't kill any. So instead of boring you with us sitting in a blind and me calling probably pretty terribly and not shooting anything, I wanted to mix it up. And I found a video from last January fishing at that exact pond, the exact pond that you guys are watching right now, ice fishing. And I know my channel's been kind of in a little bit of a dead zone lately for those of you just fishermen. I've been doing a ton of hunting, which I personally enjoy, but I know a lot of you guys probably do not hunt or really enjoy watching hunting. But I want to get you guys hyped because, well, tomorrow I'm headed to Texas. That's one good thing. But two, ice fishing season is coming, which is really 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 fun unless you fall in the water like me but anyways i'm going to show you a video a clip uh, a short series of clips from last january fishing at the exact pond that you guys are watching right now in january so in probably two months this is exactly what it's going to look like hopefully you guys enjoy oh god be careful how do i let just no just let let it let, let your line loose let oh my god you got a big in dude you got a big in on oh dude it's a toad it's got to be like a four pound bass just go nice and easy, just all the way down and all the way back. Dude, you totally got a giant bass right now. Yes, baby! Oh, let's go! What is this mammoth of a fish? I'll just pray to God he doesn't come off. Oh, I saw him. Did you? Oh my gosh! Oh, okay. Calm down, calm down. I'll, I'll try to go. Yeah, baby! Oh! Look! Dude, look at that! Look at that! The tiny little jig just popped right off. No way, bro! Give me that. Oh, dude, that's it's pushing four. It's three and a half. Yeah. Yes. No way, dude. That's so sick. Oh. That's so Look sick. That. Oh my god. Look at that brute, dude. That's so awesome. Good job, bro. Nice work. Yes. Good work, son. fish yep yep go. oh oh wow oh, oh boys 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 i think we got a big in it's either a giant bluegill or a good sized bass i think it is it a crappie dude it's a big something it's a big something oh my god oh, oh my, my. Woo! <laughs> look at there it's a big oh something. my gosh what Huge. right there boys Another another slaunch of a bluegill. I am the bluegill master today. All the bass have uh, have pretty much skirted me and swerved me today. But you know the gills, the gills are coming out to play. These are I don't I mean I just don't know if you guys can tell how big these fish are. They're they're massive. I mean they're bigger than my hand. If I was into like, you know cleaning and eating bluegill, these would be for sure keepers. It's not that I don't like them. It's just a lot of work, and I'd rather just catch them again. Beautiful fish. See you later. Jeffrey I got a fish we were picking up we we're picking up the uh, tip-ups dude the entire line was out like it spooled out completely 
the flag was up, we just didn't see it. It took all the line off that spool. Like there's like literally 50 yards. It's a big one. Oh. Dude, it's a big one, it's a big one, it's a big one. Right, it's huge. Is it big? It's big, dude, it's big. Dude, it's, oh my God. The entire, look, all the line's gone out of the oh. spool. It took the entire thing. Fight it. Oh my God. It's for sure a bass. It's gotta be a big bass. Oh my. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, baby! Let's go, let's go! Oh, we were just picking these tip-ups up. Oh my god. It's a toad. Oh, he choked it, dude. Oh my gosh. Look at that fish. That's like, that's about the same size you had. This is about, yeah, a, yeah. about a three, three and a half. Oh, that's clutch. I came over to fix this tip, or to pick up the tip-up. All the line on that thing was gone. We were just stupid. We didn't even realize the flag was up. And that big old girl, she had, she has that minnow all the way down there. That's awesome. This, oh yes, finally, dude. Oh my God. See you later, Carl. Wasn't that cool? Wasn't that just like so, it's just so different. I don't know. I love, I, I don't love ice fishing. I like ice fishing. I love open water fishing, but it's just such a nice change of pace being able to stand on the water and jig. And it's just, I don't know. I think it's a lot more satisfying when you do catch fish because it's so much more of a challenge. Uh, it's just, it's a lot of fun. Light line. So, you know, the, the stakes are high when you, when you hook a fish versus 17 pound fluoro, fluoro or 50 pound braid or whatever. It just makes it a little bit more challenging. So hope you guys enjoyed the ice fishing footage. I'm sorry that we did not catch any more fish, but I figured that was better than me going fishing today when it's cold out, going to some golf course pond and catching some squeakers like I did in the last video. I mean, if you guys would rather see that, let me know. But personally, I would rather watch me catch fish through the ice and uh, and just kind of get excited. It really did. When I, when I found that video, I was like, yes, that's the video I'm going to put in this video to get you guys hyped for ice fishing season because it is so much fun. It is so much work, but it is so much fun to catch fish through the ice. Like I said, I'm headed to Texas tomorrow, so you guys should hopefully see a lot of bass fishing videos. And then I'm going out of the country again with the entire Gugan squad for two weeks. So um, I'm not going to tell you exactly where I'm going, but there's going to be a lot of big fish. The odds of me breaking my personal best largemouth bass is probably a 99.9% .9 chance it's going to happen. So you guys look forward to that. That's going to be coming late December, right around Christmas time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, I have the new Freedom Flare gear in the stores right now on sale. If you're watching this before the end of Cyber Monday, make sure you go pick it up. I don't even have any. I'm, I'm rocking the old next gen, which you guys can pick some up too if you want. Or Guggen. I got Guggen. We got everything. We got all the merch any fisherman or any hunter will ever need. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.